Hello my butterfly babies and welcome to my channel. This channel is designed to help you break out of your cocoon and to rise and fly. So today's pick a card reading is what are you manifesting right now? We want to find out what you're manifesting and how you can manifest it even faster uh, if possible. Okay so let's find out but let's start to help you pick your pile, we're going to reach into the charm box and pick one charm for each pile. Okay? Pile number one, pile number one, pile number one. Oh, you have two, actually. <laughs> you have, oh, look at that. A, well, what is that? Oh, it's a sand castle. Okay, so you have a sand, sand castle and you have a blue musical note. Okay, so you have two. So I'm gonna do two for the other groups too, or piles. Okay. Pile number two, pile number two, pile number two. You have, oh my gosh, your red cherries. So you've got the cherries and we'll get one more for you. Pile number two, pile number two, pile number two. Oh my, and you have also, well this is a rose, a gold rose. Look at that. Okay, so you have a cherry and a gold rose. It's kind of big, so I'll move it right here. Okay, so pile number three, pile number three, pile number three. You have this little blue crown. Okay, and let's see what else. Pile number three, pile number three, pile number three. And you have this little white bow with a diamond on it. Wow, okay. So these are the three piles. So we can take a quick look up close and see. We have pile number one, Phoenix Transmutation, the number 29 this little gold sand castle, and this little blue musical note, okay? And of course the carnelian stone here. Okay, and then we have card number, pile rather, <laughs> number two. Wait a minute, the cherry. <laughs> okay, and this card is, it says, Earth Spirit Stability, the number 14, this little cherry charm, and this gold rose charm. Okay, and the green jasper crystal. And then we also have pile number three. And the card is daffodil, sorry, daffodil fairy, new beginnings, the number 10. This little blue crown and this little white bow with a diamond on it. Okay, and then we have the yellow aventurine stone or crystal. So these are your three piles. P please pick a pile and I will see you at your reading. So let's start with pile number one. Okay, we've, we're gonna start there and see what they are manifesting. Pile number one, if you selected this card, the Phoenix Transmutation card, the number 29 with the Carnelian Stone and the little gold sand castle charm and the musical note, this is your reading. Okay, so right away, I'm looking at the number 29, which um, it can equal 11, which is a very spiritual master number, and the phoenix. You are this phoenix rising from the ashes. So what you're manifesting is going to change your life in a huge way. And with the sandcastle, I'm seeing that you have been using your powers of manifestation to visualize and to plan in your mind and to build in your mind how this manifestation is going to, to take place. So it's almost like, you know, when an architect, they build like a model, a tiny little model home or a model um, building or whatever it is. That's what you've been doing. You've been building sandcastles, but and what I'm hearing is with this transmutation, those sandcastles are going to become real. Okay. And then we have money. I'm sorry, the musical note. And that's funny that I said money because there's a little tiny diamond at the bottom of this musical note. So I feel that music is connected to your manifestation in some way. Even if it's not directly connected, music will help you manifest, okay, what you are manifesting. And some of you, it will be a musical gift that you have. But this is the carnelian stone and it's giving you a lot of power, to that, that strong power to rise up out of those ashes because it takes a lot of power to rise, okay? So let's see what else. For pile number one, what is pile number one manifesting at this time? Please speak and tell us. What is pile number one manifesting 
at this time. Okay, so we're gonna take these, and actually this one also fell, but let's see, you have three. Seventh Chakra, Archangel Uriel. So look at this, let's start with this one. This is your crown chakra. So this transmutation, this phoenix from that you're rising up, it's giving you a lot of spiritual power that you've never really experienced to this degree before. I'm seeing all of this spiritual energy just being poured into your crown chakra, okay? So you wanna focus on the crown chakra and the sacral chakra, of course, but this is, this is what's helping you rise. You're getting that spiritual supernatural power that's helping propel you up and lifting your wings out of the ashes, okay? And look at that, your second chakra, and that is the sacral chakra, look at that. So that's confirmation. See that orange? And you've got the orange here for this sacral chakra. And it's telling you it's time to rise. And you have the angel here. I'm hearing that you have spiritual guidance and assistance. And with the number um, 36, which I'll, I'll, I'll see if you, bleh, <laughs> if you add them together, it equals nine. The manifestation is near, okay? Because nine is a number of fulfillment and manifestation. You also got the sun card. Look at that. So this is showing you with those sand castles that you were building that are going to become real. With that one being that powerful leadership number, I'm hearing you are the sun. You have, with all of this power that you're using to rise and that supernatural power, this is the earthly manifestation of that power. So you have manifested this beautiful new life with, look at that, the sun is shining, there's this beautiful water, there's flowers, there's, you know, a gold, like a little, looks like a little gold um, octopus. But you, this is the manifestation of your sandcastle becoming real. Okay, wow, this is amazing. So let's see what else. Let's see in money, income, career, finance, what is pile number one? What are they manifesting right now? Please speak and tell us. In career, money, income, finance, prosperity, abundance, career, promotion, money, income, wealth. Okay. The messenger. Yes. So we were just talking about that. That you And look at all the wings. There's wings here. There's wings on the phoenix. There's wings on the angel. And then you have all of these winged birds coming and bringing a message to you so this is confirmation that angels are bringing your messages to you this is i bring the light of awareness so this is the time to really open that crown chakra so that they can pour those messages into you and by doing that it strengthens your sacral chakra and gives you that power to rise from the ashes and to experience this beautiful new life of the sun card here Wow, let's see. So you, so at this time, you want to be very open to messages, spiritual messages. Okay, so let's see what else. And you know what I'm hearing with this music? I'm hearing heavenly angels singing, okay? And that's why you have this, because it's like the angels are singing. And if you've ever heard accounts of angels singing, it's this beautiful sound that nobody's ever hear. You know, you don't hear it in the 3D. It's that... It's that supernatural and spiritual that when they sing, but when they sing, it's it's power, it's energy, it's a high, high frequency. And that is what they're doing. They're singing around you. Even if you can't, you can't actually hear it. They're singing to help you manifest. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, so let's see in love. What is pile number one manifesting in love right now? Please speak and tell us. Can you please tell us what pile number one is manifesting in love right now? Let go. Sometimes it's best to let go and let the universe work things out in divine timing. Yes. So this is letting me know that right now, if you've had a situation where, you know, sometimes we have a situation where we, our heart is very set on, on one thing or one person. Okay. And we want to make things happen a certain way. But this is letting you know that right now, your transmutation, you are the phoenix rising from the ashes. Right now, it's time to not, you're focusing on yourself right now. So right now, as far as the relationship or love, you just want to kind of hold back on that and let 
the universe work anything out for you, whether it's a love that you're in, that you have challenges or a new love that the universe is bringing to you. They're letting you know that let God do it for you. Let the universe, higher powers, spirits, spirit guides, angels, let the angels assist you in your love life. Because right now, the main focus is you as an individual rising so that you can manifest this beautiful new life. Okay, your sand castles are becoming real castles. Okay, so that's what that's what the focus is on. And you don't need to worry about love because the, the universe is taking care of love for you. Okay, so let's see what else. For pile number one, please speak and tell us what is pile one manifesting. There it is. Oh my goodness. Happy, happy. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, the, that's the angels are singing for joy too for you. But happy, happy because... You're manifesting this new life for yourself, this beautiful, happy new life. Look at that. So that is why you're so happy because all of that spiritual assistance that you were receiving from all the angels and that are shown in these other cards, they are helping you rise. Okay. All of those downloads, all of those spiritual messages that are coming down through your crown chakra, like we talked about, because this shows that too. And it's turning your life into this happy, happy, where you are the star and you are the sun and you have turned these castles into real castles, into a real new world for yourself. Wow. That's amazing. So this is confirmation that this new life is going to bring you a lot of happiness, prosperity, and joy. Okay, so let's see what else for pile number one. What do they need to know? Okay, wow, that's a lot. We're gonna we're gonna try again because that was just there was a lot of cards, but let's see. Pile number one. What chakra do they need to? Let's see if we get confirmation for the chakra or any other chakras or information they need. Please speak and tell us for their manifestation. Well, this card keeps coming. So we'll take that and let's see what else. There it is. Look at that. Okay, so it says, look at this one. It says, all things work best in conjunction with all things. So this is all of the chakras. So it's telling you that you want to balance your chakras right now. Okay, so you're going to balance all of them. And you can do that. And I, I think that what I'm hearing is because of this music, I'm going to link in the description box some like heavenly, you know, what... The closest thing to heavenly angelic music, and you're going to want to visualize and 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 uh, balance your chakras. Okay, and I'll also put a chakra balancing video. And the other chakra is the solar solar plexus chakra. Okay, because it says fearlessness, turn your warrior into a warrior. Yes, and that's what's happening. You are turning your worries, this fire, this destruction, this negativity of your of your life in the past, and you're rising up, and you're fearless, and you're strong, and you have that power that's given to you by your angels, by higher powers in the universe. So it says you don't need to worry because you're you're going from this to this. You're going from worry to a warrior. You are the warrior rising. And it's just confirmation of that. So, so the solar plexus chakra is also another chakra you're going to focus on because that's going to strengthen your self-confidence at this time. So let's go ahead and get three final messages for pile number three. We're going to shuffle our wisdom, inspiration, advice cards and take three to end the reading. Let's see what's going on. We're going to shuffle and take three. Let's do one, two, three. And let's see. Blessings are on the way to you. Yes. You're rising from the ashes and you're going to experience these glorious ble glorious blessings bleh, of the sun card. We'll put it here. All of these blessings are manifesting for you right now. And it's coming soon because look at that. It is your time to shine. Right. When you rise, you shine. Okay. So let's see. And last but not least, wear green. Okay, so yeah, so green is going to help you also at this time. You're supposed to balance all the chakras. So that's also with your heart chakra. And all of this will help you manifest even faster this beautiful, new, wonderful life that you're having after rising from the ashes. Wow, pile number one. This has been your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. And until then, 
I will see you soon. Bye, my butterfly babies. Okay, we are going to move on to pile number two. And we're going to see what they have, what they're manifesting right now. Okay. Okay. Pile number two. If you selected this card, Earth Spirit Stability, the number 14, and these a little the little cherry charm and the gold rose and the green jasper stone, this is your reading. Now, right off the bat, I see the cherries, okay? It says Earth Spirit Stability. So I feel that financial stability is coming to you with all of this green and all this lush, fertile greenery, okay? And the cherries, I'm hearing jackpot, just like at a casino where you see the three cherries. I'm hearing jackpot with this. So I feel like you're going to have a huge financial surprise or unexpected money gift. And this rose, this represents you. Your, your life is opening. You're becoming that fully bloom, you know, blooming rose. You're not the, you're coming out of the rosebud and you're fully opening like this charm. And with the number 14, which also equals five, that goes along with this um, cherry and the jackpot. It's like I'm hearing speculation, meaning like you're going to be very lucky. Okay. And this Jasper stone is, is creating that stability for you with more green. And it's also giving you the motivation to manifest your goal, plan, and or project is what I'm hearing. So let's see what else. Pile number two. What are they manifesting at this time? Please speak and tell us for pile number two. What is pile two manifesting? Look at that. Appreciation. Yes. See this? Number 15. Okay, so... Number 15 also equals six. So I'm seeing a lot. You're manifesting a life of beauty and a life where you are valued. Okay. Where that you're, you are starting to value yourself and other people are really starting to appreciate and value you. Okay. So I'm hearing you're getting at, you know, admirers, um, people that really respect you and people that appreciate you. And you're going to be in that spotlight. And look at this too. You're holding that rose because you're saying, look, this is what I've become. She's holding this big open rose, just like this charm. The, you see the look? It's like, I. this is what I've become. This is who I am. This is who I really am. And that's going to be you. And people are going to appreciate the real, authentic you that's coming out okay or that you're presenting to the world now so let's see what else for pile number two for income money career finance abundance prosperity please speak and tell us the king the sun pile number one had the sun card also okay and they're reading so you might want to watch their uh, pile number one also the king and again this can be we say king, but it doesn't, it's not gender specific. So, you know, king or queen meaning royalty. Okay. It says, I powerfully lead my mission and I'm hearing you're a leader, not a follower. Okay. And that's why you are the person that people look to and appreciate and admire. Okay. Because you are being your unique self and you're not afraid to be a leader. Okay. And that's how you're manifesting right now. Wow. Wow. Okay, so let's see what else. What is pile number two manifesting in love? What is pile two? What are they manifesting in love right now? Please speak and tell us. Please speak. Please speak and tell us for pile number two. And the book got stuck in there, so. <laughs> pile number two. Oh, here it is. Okay. Embrace. <gasps> Look at this. It says embrace what destiny has for you. Right. You have this amazing destiny, okay? You've got financial blessings and you've got this rose. And I'm hearing that in love, your, your destiny, your true love, your soulmate, your twin flame, your true love is coming, okay? So if they're not already here, they're coming. And you know what this is telling me? You're gonna, the hug, see how the little little girl in the figure and she's being hugged? The hug is going to tell you who your person is, okay? It's it's really cool. Um, there, when you hug this person, you're gonna feel some kind of elect electricity, a high frequent frequency electricity that you've never felt before, and that hug is going to tell you that this is your person, okay? 
Wow. And if you're already with that person, you know exactly that there's something so different. Um, and if you're single, that person's on the way and you're going to know because when you hug them, you know, that's going to be what tells you. Okay. That's cool. So pile number two, please speak and tell us what pile number two, what else they need to know what about what they're manifesting right now. What is pile number two manifesting? Please speak and tell us. Please speak. Okay. Got those two that are trying to jump out. Between worlds. Wow. Yes. So I'm hearing there's the number three. You're going to communicate. Okay. So your manifestation, what you're receiving from higher powers, you're communicating out to the world. Okay. As as this new you, this unique you that you're, so you're communicating to the people and that makes them appreciate you even more. They value what you have to say. Okay. And it says thinker number 44. Yes. So you are someone who's very deep. Okay. And that's also what makes you different. That's also what makes you this unique person. Okay. And people, like I said, people want to hear what you have to say and what you're thinking because it's a very unique point of view that others have never really thought of. And, and they're like, wow, pile number two has some, some something spiritual, something special. Because when they speak or when they tell me what they think, it gives me a new perspective on life. And it gives me ideas. And it gives me that appreciation of them. So that's what another reason why people appreciate you so much, because you give them a unique viewpoint and they start to see things in a new light. Wow. That's another reason. It's like you're, you're this leader. Like I said, you're, the, you're a leader, not a follower. Others want to follow you. So let's see what else for pile number two. Please speak and tell us what chakra they need to work on right now to enhance their manifesting. Okay, you've got two. You've got the root chakra and you've got the crown chakra. And pile number one also had the crown chakra. So again, you may want to check the reading. But let's look at this first. Root chakra and look at you with the red. that Wearing that red coat, that root chakra. Security, oh my gosh, and look at this. Security and stability. Yes, that is what you're headed for. So if you've had any feelings of your life not being stable or not being grounded or rooted or on track, you're going to have financial stability, stability, and you're going to have emotional and mental, um, sorry, stability and security. You're going to have financial security, financial stability, and just that feeling of security, divine protection, as well as just feeling secure in what you have. Um, you're going to, your prosperity is going to make you feel that you don't have to worry about money either. So it says to feel more secure, deepen your connection with nature. Yes. And that's what you're going to do. You're going to go out into this, into nature and ground yourself. And then on the other side, um, you're going to also strengthen your um, crown chakra because you are a very spiritual person. And again, you're between worlds. So you're focusing on both. You're focusing on the, the, the spiritual and supernatural and the earthly as well. Okay. So it's like you're, you're balanced between two worlds and that gives you that unique quality that everybody is seeking from you and admiring about you and appreciating. So let's see what else. Let's see for pile number two, we're going to shuffle the wisdom, inspiration, advice cards and pick three to see what final messages for your manifesting. There's This one wants to come out, so we'll just do two more. Okay, so let's see pile number two. The seeds you have planted will bear fruit. Yes, so your dreams, this is confirmation that your dreams are manifesting, okay? And the result of your manifestation will be this unique position that you're in, of being this leader that other people appreciate and value. Okay. Spend time with animals. Yes. Because you see this figure here. She's outside. She's got she's got butterflies around her and she's got the swans. So you want to strengthen and that also helps your root chakra when you spend time with animals. Okay. So you any animals, whether they're your pets or whether you go out, you know, in nature and just listen to the birds. <gasps> And last but not least, a big win is coming. Yes, so this is confirmation of that 
financial stability, and that security that we talked about. Financial security is definitely coming. Wow, so that's what you're manifesting, pal number two, right now. And I'm excited for you because this is what is happening. It's on the way and just don't give up, keep going, and you will manifest this. So pal number two, this has been your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. And until then, I will see you soon. Bye, my butterfly babies. <laughs> Sorry, there was a fly. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to move on to pile number three and see what they are manifesting at this time. Okay. Pile number three, if you pick this card, New Beginnings, the Daffodil Fairy, the number 10, with this little blue crown charm, and this little white, um, it's a bow tie, or a little, a little bow with a diamond, this is your reading. You also have the yellow aventurine. So right away I'm hearing that you come from your, your ancestors and your, actually your spiritual lineage is royalty. Okay, so in your past, you know, in your in your history with your ancestors, they come from a royal like bloodline. It's almost as I'm hearing a spiritual royal bloodline. So your new beginning is that you're going to step into that power of your ancestors of that royalty and you're going to start to to wear that crown in your life now, your new beginning. And you're going to this little bow tie is showing me that you, this new life is, you're going to have like, um, you're going to glitter. You have this little diamond. You're going to live a life similar to royalty. Okay. You're going to have a new life, a new beginning. So let's see what else for pile number one. Please speak and tell us what they're manifesting right now. And these two cards fell right on these other cards. Okay. Rest and rejuvenation number 19. And this is interesting because 19 Nine plus one equals 10, and you have the 10 over here. So 10, 10, I want you to look up that angel number, 10 and also 10, 10, okay? It's this rest and rejuvenation, yes. In order for you to manifest this new beginning, you are in that cocoon stage right now where you need to generate your rest and rejuvenation to allow yourself to prepare for the powerful new beginning. And this is showing me that your powerful new beginning, you know, we talked about this royalty and you having this, this royal life and this exciting, do you see this party? It's very lavish. Okay. They're wearing these beautiful gowns. They've got these beautiful flowers and this is, this is the, your new life. It's a very, um, lavish lifestyle, a very, um, exciting, uh, you, it's upscale. You're going to a higher echelon, a higher level. Okay, so let's see what else for income, money, career, and finance. Please speak and tell pile number three what they're manifesting right now. Please speak and tell us. The communicator. Okay, yes. So those ancestors, those royal ancestors are giving you, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> they, they're jumping right out there. They have a message for you. Those royal ancestors from this little crown that we talked about, they are communicating with you. They are, they are giving you all of the secrets of how they became royalty, what they did, um, what life was like then, so that you can manifest a modern day version of that, that royal lineage that you're part of, okay? Wow, that's so so you want to be aware and listen to to signs. You know, if if you hear something and it stands out, you know that it's from your ancestors, even if they're speaking through another person or you hear something on TV or you, you know, something jumps out at you, you see a like a literal sign that you're like, "Wow, that really stands out to me." They they're speaking to you through those channels. Okay, and even with this, what we're doing, they're speaking to you. So let's see what else Pile number three is manifesting loyal heart. Wow, look at that. Okay, and look, they have crowns. These two owls have crowns on their heads. Do you see that? Just like your crown. So what I'm hearing is that the person that you are going to connect with, 
Okay, I'm hearing it could either be love, but also like a mentor or even a business partner is going to be from that same lineage of yours. Um, you know, not like, you know, in love, they're not related to you, but meaning spiritual, that spiritual family mindset where they understand how you think. And they're going to be very loyal to you. They're going to be someone who understands you on a level that, that nobody else understands you um, on. And they're going to help you with this new beginning and to live this new exciting life that you are manifesting. Okay, but let's also see in love. What are they? What are you manifesting in love, pile number three? Please speak and tell us what is pile number three manifesting? Labyrinth and illusion. Okay, yes. So it says avoid the trap of mistaking a fantasy for a true connection. Right. But you're going to recognize, you're going to be able to recognize spiritually. Spiritual discernment is going to help you recognize that true person that true other half of yours, or even that true mentor um, or friend or business partner that's coming, okay? So there, that's going to help you. You're going to see with spiritual eyes. Labyrinth, even when you feel lost, there is a way through the labyrinth, yes. And this spiritual connection is going to help you successfully navigate through any issues or problems. And you've got your ancestors with you too, and they're leading the way. So there's nothing to worry about, okay? For your new exciting beginning with all that lavish royal the la royal lifestyle. Let's see what else for pile number three. Ah, please speak and tell us what they need to know. Okay, what chakras? Oh, wow. Okay, so you've got the balance. Okay, you've got three. It says three. It says clear quartz, rose quartz, and her and hematite. Sorry about that. So it says embrace the balance between earth and spirit. Yes, because you've got those ancestors that are helping you and you want to balance those chakras. Okay. Especially the heart chakra. And then also your throat chakra, because remember they're communicating messages to you and you're also able to speak with them and to this new mentor, this Royal mentor that, that is of like mind and like spirit of you from your um, spiritual family. Okay, and you're going to speak to them and communicate with them on a higher level to manifest your new life. Okay, so let's see what else. Final messages for pile number three. We're going to shuffle and take three. One, two, three. We've got you were born to win. Yes, you were royalty. You, were the, you are royalty and you were born to win, pile number three. Definitely. Success is your birthright. Another confirmation. Wow. And just trust pal number three. Wow. Trust your ancestors and trust your destiny and trust what you are manifesting will come to pass and you will have that new beginning. Pal number three, this has been your reading. I hope you enjoyed it.